Now on Coast TV News. Staying protected from fraud, what Milford is doing to help potential scam victims. The clock is ticking. Delaware's voter registration deadline is tomorrow. How to sign up before time's up. Police are on the lookout for breaker bandits in Delaware. Which areas are being targeted? And absentee integrity. What's being done to make sure ballots are counted correctly? And our sunny, dry conditions are going to continue through the weekend, but we're going to bump the temperatures up. We're talking the return of 80 degree temperatures, but the coolest air of the fall season arrives next week. I'll break it all down in my full forecast in minutes. This is Coast TV News at 11. Stopping the scams. Milford Police offering some advice to keep your wallet and identity safe. Good evening, I'm Christina D. Robertis. Welcome to Coast TV News at 11. We begin tonight at a meeting in Milford. Getting scammed is not fun, but it can happen to just about anyone. The Milford Police Department held an informational session Friday to help people avoid being a victim. And as Coast TV News reporter Brendan Conroy shows us, it happens more often than you might think. Staying protected from scams and fraud is pretty important. And that was the topic of discussion in Milford Friday. The group that has affected the most, senior citizens. Nationally, only one out of every 40 people report that they have been scammed. It's terrible. Deborah Kaiola tells us she has been a victim. You, you know, you, you feel like you're getting smacked in the face. Um, it, it's very demoralizing that, yeah, I fell for it. I should know better. The meeting focused on identity theft, credit card scams, and avoiding sharing your information with people you don't know. Alan Ratchko with the Milford Police Department led the discussion. I think it went real well, and they always do. I do these monthly, several of them each month, and it really gets the people thinking and helps them understand that, yeah, I'm doing the right thing. While it can be easy for your information to get out in today's world, taking the steps to prevent scams and protect yourself from fraud should be a priority. The presentation Friday brought a lot of engagement from the community and the city of Milford is not done yet. There are still tons of events planned for this weekend like meet and greets and a bonfire. For more information on these events, be sure to visit coasttv.com. In Milford, Brendan Conroy, Coast TV News. New tonight, Delaware State Police are investigating a string of thefts targeting new homes under construction in both Kent and Sussex counties. Electrical breaker panels, circuit breakers like you see on your screen, and other components have been stolen. Authorities are asking anyone with information to contact state police. Moving now to political news, we're less than a month away from the 2024 general election and the deadline to register to vote in Delaware will be here in just a matter of hours. Coast TV news reporter Ana Sofia Roman tells us what you need to know and do to register before it's too late. Time is running out for people in the first state who want to vote in the general election, which is November 5th. Katherine Johnston, who is already registered, says voting is extremely significant for her. I think it's a duty that, as an American, you, you need to do your duty and make sure that everything is addressed. If you want to vote in Delaware, you must be at least 18 years old on or before the day of the election, a U.S. citizen, and live in the state. John Boyer, who votes in every election, says it's very important for those eligible to participate in a democratic process. I need to vote, you know what I mean, really, it's, it's no ifs and buts about it, you know, it's just a, it's a thing to do, you know, because I mean, you never know, because your, your vote may be the one that counts. Making your voices heard one ballot at a time. The deadline to register is Saturday, October 12th. However, uniform service members and citizens living outside of the U.S. have until Monday, October 21st. One of the ways to register is by coming here to the Department of Elections office on North Ray Street in Georgetown. To learn other ways to register, visit our website, coasttvnews.com. In Georgetown, Ana Sofia Roman, Coast TV News. And according to the Delaware Department of Elections, so far over 206,000 people have registered to vote in Sussex County. And the Department of Elections was busy today scanning absentee ballots and checking for errors. 
Coast TV News reporter Emma Aiken shows us why this process is vital. The sound of democracy in action. The Delaware Department of Elections is opening absentee ballots and scanning for errors as part of their election preparations. Tracy Wilkerson, a Republican, is the deputy county director. So people feel secure in how our absentee ballot process works in, in Delaware. So it's very important. We have teams in there that are of opposite parties. Um, it's important that that's balanced when we're doing the whole process. The department has volunteers called challengers from both parties to help scan ballots for potential errors. They check for the signature, the timestamp, and the address. But right now, they aren't actually registering who anyone is voting for. This is just a count of the number of absentee ballots coming in. Kenneth Bo McDowell, a Democrat, is the county director. And things, so it's good for the uh, citizens to get out and see for themselves what we're all about and that there's nothing to hide and we're totally out in the open with everything. McDowell says if they do find discrepancies on the ballot, they follow up with the voter and do a detailed investigation. The Department of Elections says they are seeing about 500 absentee ballots come back each day, and next week they will begin the scanning process to start counting those ballots and the ones that keep coming in. In Georgetown, I'm Emma Aiken, Coast TV News. While some Floridians have started to clean up after Hurricane Milton, swollen rivers brought on by historic rainfall are still a threat for others. Milton is responsible for at least 17 deaths, with search and rescue missions still underway on Friday. Sherelle Hubbard has the latest on the rescue efforts. New video has come flooding in, documenting search and rescue missions from Hurricane Milton. This rescue video of a 91-year-old woman from her house in Lithia, Florida, near Tampa, where the Alifaya River crossed flood stage Thursday and over 24 feet Friday. Rescue officials carry the woman to safety in a rescue boat in front of the house. In Tampa, rescuers helped evacuate a flooded assisted living facility. What we saw was pretty devastating. A lot of homes rolled, kind of almost rolled into the water. A lot of, I, I, I've never seen it before. I've lived on the water for 30 years. Milton made landfall as a category three storm. Oh! Bringing tornadoes, torrential rain, and storm surge. Body cam footage shows deputies wading through deep water, guiding multiple people nearby to safety as they hold on to a rope. In Valrico, Hillsborough County deputies were still evacuating people from flooded homes Friday. We're at six feet deep. We have some people who believe that it might get as high as 20 feet. Officials warning that floodwaters in some areas have not receded yet, and some officials cautioning residents not to make a bad situation worse. It's just unprecedented damage, and um, it's most important to be careful with that. Stay out of the flood water. You don't know what's in there. I'm Sherelle Hubbard reporting. And we're going to take a live look now outside into the Ocean City area. Our first alert meteorologist, Chris Masturbono, joins us now with a look at the weather. Chris, how's the weekend looking? We are looking very nice, Christina. We had plenty of sunshine today, and we're going to continue the theme. Sunshine, dry conditions, but we're going to increase the temperatures over the weekend. Right now in Ocean City, we are at 58 degrees, 46 degree dew point, so it is very dry out there. And we are had highs today of 71 in Ocean City. We saw 69 Georgetown, 69 in Wallop Island, 68 Salisbury, and 66 in Cambridge. Right now, though, we are cooling off. We're in the 40s in Salisbury, 47 there. We're at 50. Georgetown and 58 in Rehoboth Beach. Clear skies. We have high pressure building in and kind of sinking to our south. This cold front back off to the west is going to be advancing east over the next few days. And we had a treat last night with the northern lights. We had those pink, vibrant pink colors over the area due to that severe solar storm making it uh, pushed farther south. We had a very rare occurrence across the Delmar Peninsula. Now you go, still gonna be able to see those northern lights a little bit through the overnight, through about uh, sunrise. We'll talk more about the weekend coming up and that big cool down next week, Christina. All right, thanks, Chris. And like Chris mentioned, parts of Delmarva saw those beautiful northern lights Thursday night. The remnants of a strong geomagnetic storm combined with the high pressure system and clear skies on Delmarva led to parts of the peninsula being able to see this spectacular show. Normally, the northern lights are visible in regions closer to the magnetic poles like Alaska, 
Canada and Scandinavia. And this brings us right into our Coast TV poll. We want to know, did you see the Northern Lights? Let's take a look at the results. We're still pretty split. It's been that way all day. 55% saying no, 45% saying yes. I feel your pain if you didn't see them. I didn't either, but I'm hoping we can uh, get another look. And if you haven't voted yet, we still want to know if you saw them or not. You can do that at coasttv.com or on our mobile app, and we'll have some updated results on our website. Medical waste on the coast. Does that sound familiar? We have been covering it, and it's been 26 days since the medical waste was washing ashore on Delmarva. This closed beaches for over a week. If you take a look at your screen, you can see pill bottles, needles, and the other medical items found on our beaches. This forced DENREC to put a swim advisory into effect, and People Coast TV spoke with today, saying more needs to be done to investigate. I'm surprised it's not a bigger story than it is. You know, you don't really hear much about it anymore. You know, it was a big splash at the very beginning, and now it's just gone away and nothing seems to be being done about it. Coast TV did reach out to FEMA about this, about any new findings in the case, but so far we have not heard back. And we're just getting started tonight on Coast TV News at 11. Up next, celebrating pride and progress. How Sussex County is marking National Coming Out Day. But first, we'll show you all the cool things to do this weekend. And there's weather is going to cooperate with those cool things. Plenty of sunshine in Cambridge and Crisfield. Warmer, we're in the low 80s by Sunday, but a big cold front's coming. Sunday into Monday, we're going to drop down into the 50s for highs. We'll talk more about that. Coast TV News is back in just 60 seconds. The American black duck is an iconic species well known throughout the Delmarva Peninsula. Although the population is currently stable, they're well below their population goals and they're considered a species of concern. The USDA Natural Resources Conservation Service looks to increase and restore black duck habitat throughout the Delmarva Peninsula. I utilize the Working Lands for Wildlife program to help transform a low-lying wet area into waterfowl habitat. To learn more about the Working Lands for Wildlife program, contact your local USDA service center. Foul odors, discolored water, are you running out of hot water more quickly? These are all signs of sediment buildup in your water heater. And as the buildup becomes more severe, it can even cause a premature tank failure. Flushing the tank periodically can prevent these problems. FH Fur has you covered. Get a water heater flush for $49. That's right, a complete water heater flush for only $49. Act now and get plumbing inspection free. 877-CALL-FUR FHFUR.COM Festivals, fundraisers, and all kinds of fun are filling up the weekend. Don't stay in, get out, and enjoy these great events while supporting some good causes. Downtown Milton will come alive with art on Saturday, October 12th. From 10 a.m. to 3 p.m., artists will showcase their work and crafts on porches throughout the area. You can watch live art demonstrations and even purchase your favorite pieces. Also in Milton, some fall fun at Dogfish Head. The Pumpkin Ale Fest kicks off Saturday. You can expect games, live music, and a pet photo booth. A portion of the proceeds will support the Brandywine Valley SPCA, and pets are, of course, welcome. I mean, who else would go in the pet photo booth? You can celebrate the season with pumpkin decorating, train rides, and harvest-themed activities for the whole family at Shellville's Fall Harvest Fest in Rehoboth Beach. That's from 3 to 8 on both Saturday and Sunday. Greyhounds are gearing up to reach the beach. It's all in an effort to raise money and awareness for greyhound adoption. The event takes place all weekend. Greyhounds will parade on the Rehoboth Beach boardwalk Sunday morning. And finally, you can walk to support families, promote community involvement, and encourage a lifetime of opportunities for people with Down syndrome. The annual Boardwalk Buddy Walk goes from 9 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. in Rehoboth Beach on Saturday. For event details, tickets, and more, just head to coasttv.com and click on the Cool Things to Do tab. 
But we had ourselves quite a nice Friday on Del Marva live look into Ocean City. It's been a nice tranquil evening. Temperatures right now 58 degrees. Winds are out of the west at about 7, dew point 46. So that's an indication of of a very dry atmosphere on the Del Marva Peninsula. And temperatures are falling, especially inland. We're at 51 in Seaford. 47 in Salisbury, 49 Ocean Pines, and we're at 55 in Millsboro. So we are clear, clear skies throughout much of the east, all thanks to high pressure. This high pressure is sliding off to our south. This cold front back off to our west. That's going to be pushing through Sunday night into Monday. Again, not a lot of moisture associated with this front, but it is going to be ushering in some of the coolest air we've seen so far this season. And we had uh, quite a nice experience last night with the Northern Lights. Now you could still see them a bit through the overnight and just before sunrise due in part to this strong solar storm that's uh, making the Northern Lights seen as far south as California and Florida. Just an incredible uh, experience for many. And also, here's this to keep in mind, pretty cool here, uh, tomorrow night, about 45 minutes after sunset, you'll be able to see a rare comet. This is C2023, and this will be visible from tomorrow night through the end of the month. It's 44 million miles away from Earth, visible with the naked eye, but even better with a telescope or binoculars. Two miles wide, and look how fast it's going. For 180,000 miles an hour, I show it because, well, it's not going to be back again for another 80,000 years. So hopefully you get a chance to see it. I'll be looking out for that uh, tomorrow night. 69 degrees was our high today after our morning low of 44. A record 87 set back in 2018, record low 29 set back in 1956. So it's going to be a gorgeous weekend, 81 degrees, but look at the way the temperatures plunge. Next week, 59 for a high by Wednesday. So we are looking gorgeous to start our weekend. A little bit of a chilly start, 52 degrees, but we're in the mid 70s with plenty of sunshine across the area. A bit breezy at times. We'll see those winds out of the southwest at about 10 to 20 miles an hour. Wouldn't surprise me to see a few 80 degree temperatures, especially away from the coast, but generally the upper 70s. Now, future cast showing a few clouds rolling in, partly cloudy skies overnight. And then by Sunday, I do think we'll see low 80s across much of the interior uh, Del Mar and we'll see mid 70s at the coast and then the change comes Monday night into uh, Monday night into Tuesday as those temperatures really begin to drop. So a gorgeous weekend in Fenwick Island and Ocean City with temperatures in the mid to upper 70s. You see by Monday things turn very windy as that cold front approaches. Lewis were at 77 on Saturday. 78 Sunday and then some high winds there by Monday. So there's the front coming through. I think most of the rain does miss us to the north, but a few stray showers could spill into the region overnight Sunday into Monday. And then we have big time high pressure building in for next week, keeping us dry once again through that extended stretch of weather through uh, the rest of the next week. Our umbrella winner, Dennis Collins of Selbyville, Delaware. Congratulations on that Paul Davis umbrella. There's those temperatures dropping. Could have some frosty mornings, Christina, Tuesday and Wednesday, but overall staying dry through the seven day. All right, thank you, Chris, and I'll be keeping an eye out for that comet. Very interesting. Well, National Coming Out Day is celebrated all over the world, including right here in Sussex County. And today, Dell Tech's Georgetown location hosted a fair to celebrate National Coming Out Day. It's an annual LGBTQ Awareness Day to support anyone coming out of the closet. Lene Drew, a member of Deltec's Gay Straight Alliance, experienced her own coming out journey and now she says she's working to create a safe space for others. So we're working on just finding ways to fundraise for ourselves. We're working on uh, a lot of different things for that and working on events that we can do across the campus just to get everybody involved and get to know who we are as a club and just get it moving. Camp Rehoboth and the League of Women Voters of Sussex County were also at the event and they say they look forward to reaching a younger crowd. Coming up after the break, are TikTok's time management tools really working? Newly revealed documents say they might not be. And Hurricane Helene floods a key facility causing a nationwide IV fluid shortage. What it means for patient care. Here at North Bay Marina, we know that boaters have the most fun. When my husband got sick, he needed full-time care, but I couldn't afford to be there for him. 
Workers in Delaware were forced to choose between their paychecks and their families. It was wrong. Sarah knew we had to fix this, so she met with everyone and listened. Sarah brought Democrats and Republicans together. Being able to care for a sick child or partner without losing your pay, that's gonna help a lot of people. I'm Sarah McBride. I approve this message because bringing people together is how to get things done. Get ready, Delmarva. Excitement and incredible savings have arrived at Gateway Subaru. Save up to $3,200 on a new 2025 Subaru Outback with financing rates as low as 1.9% for 48 months. Or save up to $2,300 off a new 2024 Subaru Crosstrek with financing rates as low as 1.9% for 48 months. And be among the first to drive the all-new 2025 Subaru Forester. Stop in and reserve yours today. Gateway Subaru, just minutes from the beaches in the heart of Delmarva. Higher standards. Ride the wave of Delmarva's vibrant coastal vibes with Coast Life. From hidden gems to sun-kissed trends and captivating local tales. Dive deep and immerse yourself in our coastal rhythm. Catch Coast Life weekdays at 4 on Coast TV. The real estate industry was broken, but change is here and the Parker Group is leading the charge. We're proud to introduce our groundbreaking 3.5% listing fee. Sell with us and you could save thousands of dollars. Our cutting edge technology delivers significant savings that we pass on to you. Our world-class marketing and dedicated team provide the human touch and unparalleled expertise that you deserve. As passionate advocates for a more transparent and equitable selling experience, we're not afraid to challenge the status quo. Welcome to a new era of real estate with the Parker Group. Get the Coast TV First Alert Weather app with live satellite and radar, severe weather alerts, and extended forecast. Download the free Coast TV First Alert Weather app, sponsored by Paul Davis Restoration and Home Remodeling. This is Coast TV News at 11. Tools to limit screen time on TikTok apparently serve little purpose. That's according to mistakenly released unredacted documents regarding the social media giant. They're linked to a major lawsuit against TikTok filed by a bipartisan group of 14 attorney generals. The company unveiled time management tools for kids, but a TikTok executive is quoted in the documents saying their goal is, quote, not to reduce the time spent on the app. The suit alleges the platform has harmed the mental health of young people. Well, Hurricane Helene brought devastation to much of Western North Carolina, including an IV manufacturing facility, forcing health care centers and hospitals to make changes. On Thursday, Carolina East Medical Center announced it will be postponing non-life-threatening procedures starting today due to the IV fluid shortage. The hospital receives its fluids from Baxter International, the company's manufacturing facility in Marion, North Carolina, was flooded when Helene hit Western North Carolina, and that facility supplies 60 percent of the nation's IV fluids, which is why the clinical director says they had to make some tough decisions. We knew that we had to do something to conserve. So our procedures that are on the schedule that are um, considered um, non-life-threatening, um, we decided that we would postpone those. According to the Baxter website, their goal is to restore customers to 100 percent allocation levels as soon as possible through a combination of importing product from other Baxter facilities and the resumption of operations and scale up of production at the North Cove facility. They hope to supply 90 to 100 percent of the allocations by the end of the year. And we have a reminder for the return of Draper Media's Bless Our Children campaign. We support charities who handpick families in need and they ensure every child gets a gift to open Christmas morning. Right now we're looking for those charities and we're accepting applications from those nonprofits until October 18th. And coming up on Sunday Night Football this week, the Cincinnati Bengals will take on the New York Giants. You can watch all the action right here on Coast TV at 7 p.m. Coming up next, cardiac concerns. What long-term effects COVID could have on your heart health? Yeah, I'll tell you what, if you're a golfer, you certainly have been loving the weather this past week, and it's going to continue into the weekend. We're going to be milder, we're going to be up near that 80-degree mark, a bit on the breezy side, but very nice weekend nonetheless. Hole in one there, 79 degrees, a spectacular Saturday. We'll take a look at that 10-day forecast here in just a few minutes. 
listen to Big 1077, Delmarva's Classic Rock Station. Angela also Brooks got caught taking illegal tax breaks, at least $16,000. Senate candidate Angela also Brooks took advantage of tax breaks that she is not eligible to get. Angela also Brooks campaign says she was unaware of the error. That's odd because all four mortgages were in her name on the DC property. Also Brooks owes $59,000 in back taxes. Also Brooks isn't just dishonest on her taxes. She's dishonest with us. Maryland's future is responsible for the content of this advertising. Join us for the Top 50 Sales Drive going on right now at Preston Ford. With over a 1,000 new and pre-owned vehicles on the lot, we're sure to have the perfect vehicle for you. Save big with 2024 models such as Escape, Mavericks, and Bronco Sports, all with options starting under 30 grand. Check out the entire selection at PrestonFord.com. Purchase a Ford online and we'll deliver it to your driveway. But hurry in as the inventory moves fast during our race to the top 50 in the nation. And remember, cars cost less in Preston. Rural communities are on the front lines of a changing climate. Farmers can implement climate smart practices that improve soil health, nutrient management, and energy efficiency. These practices improve our profitability, resiliency, and help to open new markets. We know voluntary conservation works and are committed to working with farmers and forest landowners to leverage resources to increase climate resiliency through conservation practices. To learn more about climate smart practices, scan this QR code to find your local USDA service center. All right, guys, we're going to Jason's for the game this week. It's going to be dark, musty, and cramped, but we got this. Bring it in. One, two, three. Man, I totally forgot you got a new show home. Yeah, we moved in a few months ago. Wait, where'd everyone go? The snack table is huge. I can't tell if I'm inside or outside. Oh, yeah, that's fresh. Get a show home, they said. All of your friends will want to come over to the game, they said. Not everyone wants a big funeral. For those seeking a simple alternative, the Eastern Shore's most trusted family and funeral service offers another option. Eastern Shore Cremation and Funeral Service is simple and affordable. A direct cremation tribute starts at just $15.95 or choose to have a small visitation service, serving Delaware, Maryland, and Virginia with easy consultation by phone and streamlined electronic documentation. Learn more at easternshorecremation.com. Eastern Shore Cremation and Funeral Services, simply respectful. There are many dangers COVID-19 can pose to a person, but a new study suggests the virus can have a significant impact on heart and brain health for years after an infection. In today's Health Minute, Mandy Gaither has a look at the data and explains why researchers say everyone who's had COVID-19 should be aware. In 2020, before vaccines were available, people who caught COVID-19 had twice the risk of a major cardiovascular problem like heart attack or stroke as those who didn't test positive, according to a new study. What was also surprising is that the um, extent of that risk did not show any sign of diminishing or attenuation with time. Dr. Stanley Hazen with Cleveland Clinic is co-senior study author. He says those risks and medical records studied stayed up to three years after infection, and those who had been hospitalized with severe illness from the virus were at even greater risk for heart problems. That is, if similar to the risk of someone who had one heart attack and what their risk for having a second heart attack was. Hazen says the risk also varied on blood type. Researchers say people with certain non-O blood types like A or B are already at higher risk of cardiovascular diseases, but the study found those with O type blood who were hospitalized for COVID didn't have quite as high of a risk of heart attack or stroke. While the study did not look at the effects of vaccination on cardiovascular risk, Hazen says since the severity of the COVID-19 infection is linked to long-term Term cardiac risk, getting protected from COVID-19 through vaccination is critical. If you have had COVID, I suggest think about heart disease and getting your cholesterol checked and your blood pressure checked. For Health Minute, I'm Mandy Gaither. Hazen says the only the researchers only studied older adults, but he says there is reason to believe they'd see the same results in younger people who have a history of COVID-19. He also suggests lowering cardiac risk through healthy lifestyle habits like eating a healthy diet and getting regular exercise. 
Well, the increasing popularity of weight loss drugs is having an effect on the bridal industry. Drugs like Ozempic and Wagovi, brides seem to be quickly shedding pounds. That, in turn, is putting pressure on seamstresses and de designers to make more alterations, oftentimes at the last minute. Those changes can be time consuming and expensive, especially considering how many wedding dresses are intricate with layers of beading and material. And some brides who experience extreme weight loss could end up needing to purchase a new dress entirely. With more brides turning to such drugs, dress alterations could get even more challenging and more expensive. Still to come tonight, one of Delmarva's unique festivals kicks off this weekend. We'll have Apple Scrapple details up next. Download the free Coast TV First Alert weather app today. This is my legacy! Tacoma has a dominant legacy as America's favorite small pickup for almost two decades known for reliability and capability. Now buy a Tacoma with low 4.99 APR or lease an SR for $279 a month. This is my legacy. Toyota, let's go places. I'm Mark Stevens from Hartley, Delaware, and I utilize the USDA's Wetland Reserve Easement Program to improve wildlife habitat for deer, waterfowl, and other wildlife while improving water quality. If you have at least 10 acres of woods or wet, unproductive cropland, you may be eligible for compensation to restore and protect the wetlands on your property. To learn more about the Wetland Reserve Easement Program, contact your local USDA Service Center. It's a prosecutor's job to help keep families safe. And as state's attorney, I did so without apology because I believe anyone who commits a heinous crime or anyone who harms a child must be held accountable. I worked with law enforcement and cut violent crime by 50%. And as county executive made investments to recruit and train more officers. I'm Angela Also Brooks, and I'm running for Senate because I never back down from tough jobs. That's why I approve this message. This is for the savvy shoppers, the coupon code collectors, deal detectives. This sale is for you through Monday at Johnny Janosik. Buy more, save more with up to an extra $1,000 off our everyday low prices or up to 60 months special financing. You can get this beautiful seven piece dining set for only $649.95. Savings loose, find your deal, but it all ends Monday only at Johnny Janosik World of Furniture and Mattresses. In 1925, a simple bank ledger began journaling the transactions of life in Willards, Maryland. New houses, barns, and farm equipment. Growing families and businesses both big and small. A record through time of hardship and prosperity. A hundred years ago, the founding of the Farmers Bank of Willards was vital to the town. One hundred years later, banking has changed, but the Farmers Bank remains steadfast in its original mission, keeping and reinvesting millions of dollars right here for the benefit of our communities. The 2024 Apple Scrapple Festival is back in Bridgeville. This beloved event takes over downtown Bridgeville this Saturday from 9 a.m. to 10 p.m. Organizers are expecting over 15,000 attendees and there will be a car show, a library carnival and a trade show. And we're going to have very nice weather for the festival and many other events going on across Delmarva. And it's going to be a nice night as well. 58 right now in Ocean City and a chilly night. Not as chilly as last night where we dipped down into the 40s. We're only bottom out in the low to mid 50s tonight. This weekend, as I mentioned, wall-to-wall -wall sunshine. We're at 78 tomorrow, and then we will see 80 degrees by Sunday. A front moves through late Sunday through Monday. You can get that forecast at any time by calling our first alert weather phone, sponsored by Bar Mandala, Sprockstead, and Federico. The front comes through late Sunday into Monday. Can't rule out maybe an overnight shower Sunday into Monday. I think the front's going to be primarily dry, but you see those temperatures drop. Struggling to get to the 60 degree mark by Wednesday, but overall, Christina, staying pretty dry over the next 10 days. All right, it sounds like it might almost be time for me to break out my Ugg boots. Thank you for joining us here for Coast TV News at 11. For more news and local weather, download our Coast TV News app. The Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon is up next, and we'll see you tomorrow. For
for Coast TV News at 11. Have a great night.